To go back and forth between the axis systems, we need to define transformations. So if V in the Earth axes, we write as the X Earth, the Y Earth, the Z Earth. This is in Earth axes and the D is the X, D, D, Y, D, D, Z, D in body axes, then we can use dot products with the axis unit vectors to transform between the two sets of components. And we can write this out using matrix algebra. Whenever possible, I'm going to try to use this consistent notation of the square brackets around a symbol to indicate that something is a matrix. The sub and superscripts here indicate the direction of the transformation that we're going from Earth axes to body axes using this transformation matrix. Similarly, we can define the opposite as T, E, B of V, D. Now, these matrices are made up of uh, rows which are the expressions of the unit vectors. So, what that means is that T, uh, B, E, we go to first, looks like this. We've got a row vector here that's x hat e to e, y hat e to e, sorry, e to e, um, and z hat e to b. And similarly, t E to E and we're given by the row vector x hat E to E y hat E to E z hat E to E and we call these transformation matrices. Again, in each one, the each row is a unit vector for a direction in the other axis system. Now these two matrices must be the inverses of one another since each one undoes the action of the other. And we can express this mathematically using our example of the vo body velocity here. This is T E to E E, e and We could write using the other equation that we had here. And this is T E to B of V B. So that we get T E E T E to B V B. So that this must give the identity matrix I. And this tells us that T B E is equal to T B, B inverse. Now since these matrices are inverses of one another, they can also be written using the opposite unit vectors as columns. This turns out to be a little bit more intuitive. So we could write T B E as X B E Y B E 
very E and T E B as X hat E B Y hat E B Z hat E B. And this is a little easier to remember because now the sub uh, the sub and superscripts are in the same order for the matrix and the vectors. Because all that we've done is change the row vectors in one matrix to the column vectors in the other matrix, it must also in general be true that the inverse of a transformation matrix is equal to its transpose. This comes in extremely handy because it means we don't have to actually convert matrix inverses, which uh, matrix inversions, which are challenging to do for three by three systems in comparison to trivial two by two systems. Finally, we note that vector operations must be carried out on a single set of ax axes. So, for example, some vector u in earth axes dotted with some vector v in earth axes, um, or u in earth axes cross v in earth axes. These are okay, but something like u in earth axes dot v in body axes, or u in earth axes cross v in body axes makes no sense. This is undefined. If you need to do this, you have to reformat and actually write it this way. Times inserting the transformation matrix to go from body to earth axes first. Or here, same thing. U E cross T E B. -E. And then these are valid. 